My name is Julian Victor Lamar Gaines, and I'm an artist. What's up? My name is Julian Gaines, or you could call me Jew working on projects. After graduating college in 2015 and moving back to South Shore Chicago, I had this big dream of painting my way out onto Nike's campus as a freelance fine artist. Here's the story of how I made this vision come true. I wanted to show the kids from my community that, like me, they could paint their way off the block. They could take their gifts as creatives and use it and monetize it and be able to live whatever life they want to live. So really, our, the inspiration truly was to just Show that any of us could, pun intended, just do it and create our own way. I was about to follow my Nike dream on a one-way flight to Oregon. I couldn't afford a flight from Shy to Portland, so after flying from Chicago to Colorado and selling some art, I was able to buy another one-way to Portland. I started out living on Nico's couch. I walked seven miles through rain, heat, and sleep at least three times a week carrying prototypes and ideas. When I got out to campus, I had a vision to create a shoe for the creative people of the world. I wanted to make something that was comfortable, stylish, nostalgic, and just inspirational all in, in one silhouette and really give the same energy that I received when I wore a pair of Jordans. I wanted to put that into a shoe. Then I met the man. You're Jewop, right? I've been told great things about you. I'm curious what you want to do. I want to make a shoe for the creator. We have shoes specified for every life occasion, except creative. Frankly, one can be an artist far longer than they can actively be an athlete. While I was living in Chicago, I, I realized that you know, artists didn't have a, a shoe that we could really call our own. There are shoes for every other occasion, from cutting grass, to working out, to ballet and dance, to basketball, and we even got boots that you can fish with. But there are no shoes that were specified for creating that creatives knew that, you know, if I put, this is the shoe that was made strictly for me. So one of the key details that I implemented within the shoes that's inside the tongue, it says for creatives by creatives. And it's just like, really, this shoe, the, the Nike team and I, we really created this with the intention to do something strictly for the most creative people in the world, the makers. I want to name the collection Game One. What I like to see moving forward and what I hope that I could continue to do is to be an inspiration for the generation that follows. I, I like to continue to sell art and exhibit worldwide and, and, and spread the game more in story so that my shoes will be able to inspire creatives all over the world. But also I like to be able to see my work in, you know, the Museum of Modern Arts one, one day, and the Gagosium, or the Louvre, or the Tate. 
I want to be able to show all creatives and give them uh, a glimmer of inspiration aesthetically and artistically that I often and other people from my generation only receive through athletic inspiration. So I want to to be the, the best artist that I can be. What I've learned is that if you embrace the process and develop a passion for the process, then the residuals or what you earn in lieu of all of the hard work is so much more worth it. It's way, way more appreciated. It's not easy to believe in yourself. It's also not easy to work a regular job. Is it harder for you to follow your dream or is it to work for somebody else's dream? And for me, I felt a lot easier for me to follow my dream. And through my hard work, I'll be able to help other people achieve their dreams.